what's going on you guys okay so this is take two because i messed up the first one you know but i've been gone for like a couple of months like a couple of months and i've been doing my videos but i haven't posted them just because like i am kind of nervous about sharing like something that's really personal to me i don't even post on social media about my child my daughter i did have a, a baby three months ago june 27th she was overdue i had a c-section um i'm still healing from it you know i'm i had postpartum or whatever um i'm in a better head space i would say now um i did leave my situation and i'm living with my mother um my daughter is three months. She's almost four months. On October 27th, she'll be four months. Um, I'm not going to put her in the video yet because I feel like, you know, she's sacred to me. And I feel like um, I just want her to just keep growing and, you know, just... Um, I just want to keep her to myself, I guess. Like, I don't really post her on social media. I do post her on TikTok. On my TikTok, I did post a couple of pictures of her on my Instagram, on my other page. Um, but I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put her on my YouTube just yet because I just feel like she's a baby. And I don't know, I feel, I just, I don't want to do that just yet, just yet. But this first half is like me just coming on here and sharing like I guess my experiences and other things okay so I'm back um what was I saying I don't remember what I was saying in the last clip but there nevertheless you know I've had I had it was I was in labor for two days um, I did natural for 14 hours and then I got a, um, epidural. Um, I managed to get to like dilate all the way to 10 centimeters. Um, and then it went like, I guess she got stuck. So at like three something, almost four, well, probably four. Cause I had her at 427 in the morning on Monday, on a Monday, um, I decided to, they came in a room and they were like, we're just going to do a C-section. I was scared because I've never had surgery before, but like I was ready. I was tired. Like when I tell you I was tired, I was tired, but they, they had to numb me again. I got stuck six times. Um, they numbed me again and then I couldn't feel nothing. I was laying on the table and I was shaking from like here up. I was shaking. My arms were shaking. I was like laid out. <laughs> it was weird. But she, they opened me up and she came out and she wasn't crying at first and I was nervous. It's like, why is she not crying? I was really scared. But then she started to cry and it was just like, I still, even to this day, I still can't believe I'm a mom. Um, it's just the feeling of, I have to take care of somebody else. I'm going to cry. I have to take care of somebody else. Um... And my baby means the world to me. Like, I've always wanted to be a mom. And for me to be able to be a mom at the age of 30, thank God I made it. Because <laughs> I always told myself I wanted to be a mom when I at least turned 30. Or after I, a little bit after I turned 30. And God blessed me with her. And I wouldn't take, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, my baby means everything to me. Like, I love everything about my baby. And me, like, now I have to um, just think about her and, you know, make sure my, my surroundings, make sure I'm okay, make sure she's okay, for one. Um, but it's just a new experience for me. It's an eye-opener. It makes you not want to be, it makes you want to be selfish with your baby. It depends on the person, but me, I want to be selfish with my baby. I want to make sure that she has the best life, um, no matter who or what is in 
or involved with her life, I'm going to be there regardless. Um, I had the support of my mom. Thank God. I love my mom. Um, it's just, you know, I don't want to cry, but it's just, I don't, it's just like, I'm sorry. It's just an unimaginable feeling. And, um, I'm happy that she's here. Uh, I just, you know, um, I don't know. I'm just happy that I'm a mom and that somebody will love me no matter if I love myself or if anybody else loves me. I know that she loves me and I know that I'm going to make sure she's taken care of at all times. I don't know, you guys. It's just thinking about it, it just makes me emotional because I never want my baby to go through this half the stuff I went through or am going through and now I get when people say oh when you have a kid or a, a baby it's like a whole different another it's another feeling it is like it definitely is it will this shit will break you it can make you it can take you like everything but I wouldn't trade me being a mom for anything. Like, I'm so in love with my baby. Like, I love I love her to pieces. Her name is Naomi. <laughs> I named her after my sister. My only sister. My little sister. Um, her name is Naomi Danae. <laughs> I named her after my sister. Her first name is after my sister. And Danae is after my my little cousin, which is my little sister, I say. I named her after those two because they mean the world to me. Even if we don't talk, like, they're always here. And I'm always there for them. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> but they mean the world to me. Um, So I thought it would be right. God. I thought it would just be fitting for me to um, to name her after them because my sister is the most strongest woman because she's not a baby anymore. Why am I crying so much? Man, this is supposed to be a happy video because I got my packages. Um, But I just want to say that I love Naomi. Um... I'm going to try to do right by her. Uh, I'm going to start posting more videos of us. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. It depends if I want to put her in the video. I probably will, but it probably, I probably won't post it for a, a while. Like, I haven't posted my other videos. But I really came on here to give you guys that little half and not cry because I'm excited about my little. So I'm going to do an unboxing with you guys. I did open it already. I couldn't help it. But in the in the top, it says Lorve, period. Big facts. Um, these are the Katie Mays, the ones that's named after her grandmother. Um, this is the this is how it looks. I don't know if it's gonna be upside down. Um the back has her information on it and stuff. Um, and then it has like the sticker of where it came and then it says Laura Vey, which is Deara Taylor on it it says I am so I'm so grateful that I can finally share my first ever brand Laura Vey. lots of love time effort and coins went into creating my first collection I hope it helps you exclude confidence and feel like the baddie that you are sincerely Deara Deara Real OG <laughs> detailer. See? And that's the back of it. And then this is just that. But in the inside, it has her other sunglasses. But I got the Katie Mae. Um, so, I'm going to try to open this without ripping it. Because I got it to open the last time. So, I open. When you open it. When you open it, it's another little box so this is the first box and then this is the box this box listen 
there. You did something with this, okay? You hear me? You hear me, baby? So this is what it looks like, Laura Vey. It has Laura Vey in there. And it's like a little spread or whatever. I think that's the material. And then it comes in a little bag. Y'all, I'm excited. It comes in a little bag. Um, put that to the side. And then it has like the little things to make sure that, you know, there's some scratches or whatnot. And then just like that. And then here are the glasses. And you can't get these pre um, prescribed. And it says Katie May on the lens right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says Katie May. But I'm going to go ahead and try these on for y'all. Because, baby. Oh, baby. Look at Katie May. Period. Okay, Katie May. Mm -hmm. I feel like a, a teacher. <laughs> I feel like Miss D. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you should call me Miss D. Um, I'm probably going to insert some pictures. Maybe when I put on makeup. But, honey, when I say these shades. Let me go into some more. Let's walk with me. Talk with me. Walk with me. Talk with me. So, these are, this is how it looks, honey. Come on. Okay, excluding that my eyes are puffy because I was just crying. But, honey. Katie May. <laughs> Katie May. <laughs> who? Who you got on, Laura Bay? <laughs> Laura Bay? Beer did some with these. Okay, you hear me? <laughs> and then, listen. With a good curl of the hair, honey, and some lip gloss, baby. And it's a little bit of makeup on a little lash. Who? You can't tell me nothing. You hear me? Mm. Y'all see the growth in my hair? Period. Let me. Let me. Uh, 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 uh. Lord, Period. You need to go copy some if you have not. Honey, what are you waiting for? You know? But... I don't know if I'm going to um, add more to this video, but if I don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and go copy a pair of these Katie Mays, baby. <laughs>